And now we finally come to our last cup, the cup of hope, or known as Elijah's cup. Why don't you invite one of the children at your table to go and open the door to the room that you're in right now. Now you've probably noticed at our table here we've set an extra place. No one sat there, no one has eaten there. No one occupies the chair because tradition says that this seat is for the prophet Elijah. And the door is opened in the hope that Elijah will arrive and announce that the Messiah has come. We remember the day when Jesus took Peter and James and John to a high mountain and there he was transfigured before them. His, his clothes became dazzling white and he stood talking with Moses and Elijah and a cloud appeared and the voice of God said, this is my son whom I love. Listen to him. We see this story in Mark chapter 9. We praise and thank you, O Lord our God for providing Elijah and Moses that day on the Mount of Transfiguration to verify and announce that all the years of waiting were over and that your promise to send a saviour, a Messiah, had finally been fulfilled. We know the Messiah has come and we are free. Tonight we shared in the Haggadah, the retelling of our deliverance and of our salvation. We've celebrated our past and given thanks also for the present. This cup of Elijah focuses attention now on the future. It is a symbol of hope for the Jews. The Haggadah, the retelling of the story, has challenged us in every generation. Each person must view himself as if he personally went out from Egypt. Exodus 12.3 reminds us they are each one to take a lamb for themselves. But we know Messiah has come. We are free. Some people are not. And by tasting the bitterness of bondage tonight, we share. We know and we feel their suffering. Our covenant, our sacred promise to God is to share the good news tonight and forever. Our task is to take the cup of hope to all people. Jesus himself, himself said to us, go into all the world and share the good news with everyone. The seed of Passover is now complete, even as our salvation is complete. Melanie and I were very privileged to celebrate it this year with you in this way. May we all live to celebrate it again. We praise you, O Lord, who lives in our hearts for our redemption. Lead all people to redemption and salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ. And there's a beautiful verse in Scripture that reminds the Jewish people that they returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple praising God. It's a strong Jewish tradition at the end of the Passover Seder to exclaim with much joy and hope, next year in Jerusalem. Next, next year, year in, in Jerusalem. Jerusalem.